Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming at my house. Um, it's going to be a little different to my usual filming setup, but I'm still coming at you with a delicious recipe for chocolate caramel cupcakes. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge like and let's get straight to it. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to put two eggs into my bowl. By the way, all the ingredients are in the description box down below, so you can follow along to this recipe if you want to, which I would highly, highly recommend uh, because it's delicious. And then I'm also going to add some sunflower oil. And, ooh, very nice. Oh, this is actually really satisfying. Wait, I have never done that before. Ooh. Anyways, um, and now I'm going to beat this uh, for about, I don't know, two minutes until it goes just a little bit more combined. You're just trying to combine, really. Okay, so my mixture is really nice and pale, as you can see. And now I'm going to add in my buttermilk. Now, I always use homemade buttermilk, which is really easy to make. It's two ingredients, so you use milk and then an acid of your choice. So this can be white wine vinegar, uh, which is what I like to use, or a squeeze of lemon juice, just a tiny bit, and it will thicken up your milk and your milk will curdle, and it's gonna be exactly like buttermilk. So, pour that in, and also it saves you some extra money because buttermilk expires pretty quick, and I don't think you ever really end up using a whole pack when you buy it, so. Make homemade buttermilk and let's beat this again. Now I'm going to be adding in some coffee, which may shock some of you, but um, if you have watched my videos, you would know that adding coffee into chocolate bakes just enhances that really nice chocolate flavor. Now I'm going to be uh, what am I saying? Now I'm going to be sifting in my cocoa powder as well as my flour. So cocoa powder is usually very very clumpy. So if you're going to sift anything, it has to be this. Um, so yeah, let's sift that in. Oh yeah, this is so satisfying. Okay, so just for now, I'm switching to a whisk and I'm just going to like combine this a little. Oh yeah. Oh, and also I'm going to add the sugar. I can actually do that now. Um, so I'm just using caster sugar. Oh my gosh, I love this recipe so much. I'm actually very proud that I created this recipe. Um, because I don't know if you guys know, I feel like some of you don't know, um, but I actually develop my own recipes. Um, so yeah, if you want, I can even share a behind the scenes video of how I do that someday, if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, so yeah, this has got to be one of my best ones. This one and my Nutella cupcakes, oh my gosh, they have got to be my favorite recipes that I have developed. So to finish off this cupcake batter, I'm going to be adding some salt. And again, this is not making, oh gosh, why won't it come off? Okay, right, <laughs> got there in the end. This is not making this salty, it's just to, again, enhance the flavors. And then I'm adding some baking powder as well. And some baking soda. And, one last mix and you're ready to put this into your cupcake cases.
Okay guys, so I have some really really nice caramel buttercream here and it's just the regular American buttercream that I make pretty much all the time. Actually, I love Swiss meringue, so I also do like to use that one. It's my favorite. Um, but yeah, I simply just combined, um, not combined, but I beat the butter until it was really nice and pale. Then I added in my icing sugar bit by bit, as I usually do. And um, yeah, I added in some caramel that I actually made yesterday. Um, so this is homemade caramel. You can use shop-bought if you want, like, oh my gosh, look at that. Um, but yeah, you can use shop-bought or you can also make it at home. Um, I will put the instructions and the recipe for that down below as well. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is carve some little holes in my cupcakes like so. Now this one actually turned out a little bit big. Now you can use an apple corer, which I do have, but I lost it. So actually temporarily, I don't have. <laughs> so I'm using a knife. So if you don't have this, then this is good for you because now you can learn to do it without. So I'm using a knife just to cut a little circle inside my cupcake. And then I'm going to use a spoon to scoop it out. So I have a plate here. There we go. And then we've carved ourselves a little hole that we can use to fill um, some caramel. but I'm ready to try one of these cupcakes so I have a knife here so we can cut it in the middle so you can see exactly what it looks like um, so I took one that I just piped with a spoon I don't want too much icing so I'm going to peel this oh my gosh look how moist this looks Like, you can't tell me that sponge does not look moist, because it does. And let's cut it in the middle. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. My. Goodness. Look at that caramel goodness. Oh my gosh. And on the other slice. I think you can see it even better. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's try this. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. I came here to film the outro, not to eat more. So, what I wanted to say is I really hope you guys try out this recipe. And if you do, please let me know on Instagram tag me or send me a picture of what you made and uh, that would really make my day i've seen some of you guys trying my recipes and honestly it makes me so happy and if you like this video then please uh, give it a huge like and subscribe for more content like this i'm gonna eat this now and the rest of them sorry bye